the season is over. It's been a long, hard season, but I'm quite proud. In the end, 38 games, 11 wins, 17 draws, 10 losses. We finished in 10th position. I'm really proud of the lads. I feel we've done uh, done ourselves justice in the end. Um, it would have been nice to uh, to have had some more luck, to be honest. I think we were we were unlucky in many games, and as I say, if we could have turned some of those draws into wins and uh, taken those additional points, we could have been seriously pushing for a for a top six place. So I think we've got plenty to work with. I think there's uh, there's a lot of uh, good prospects within the team. I feel we should. Uh, I feel we should all be, be be very proud of what we've done this season, what we've accomplished this season. I feel we can go a lot further. Um, you know, the cup run was fantastic. Getting to the, the semi final of the Capital One Cup. You know, I don't think many people thought we could or we would. You know, we pushed City quite close. It was just unfortunate we uh, we couldn't we couldn't do the business. You know, it's one of those things. That's football. And uh, while we're going through the squad report. I want to talk about where we need to strengthen and uh, basically the reasons why. Um, first up is I would like to get hold of a second goalkeeper as backup to Jack Butland. You know, Jack Butland at the end of the day is our number one goalkeeper. That is without a shadow of a doubt. So I'm, I'm looking for a young keeper to um, to be a backup to Jack Butland and I will be swapping him about, probably giving him some, you know... If, a few games, not 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 going silly and reckless. You know, there's reserve team games for him to play, etc. Um, but Jack Butlin will be our number one, and I feel you know he's got to play and, and keep that consistency and form going. Looking at it from defence, you know, I'm quite happy with what we've got in defence. You know, we've got Tompkins, uh, we've got Collins, we've got Reed, and we've got Riez. So we've got four quite good centre backs in my eyes. You know, Winston Reed's come on leaps and bounds. That's down to you guys. Tompkins has sort of sorted himself out now. Riaz is definitely one for the future, and um, Collins is sort of the the old head of the back four, and um, you know he's he's a he's an aggressive player which I like. Same with right back, I think we've we've got plenty in right back. You know we've got Spence, we've got Hewitt, and we've got O'Brien now. That contract wrangle has been sorted out. Left back, we've got Shaw, we've got Potts. So I feel defensively we're fine. The midfield, I feel we're fine as well. You know we've got Noble, we've got Nolan, we've got Zizoko, uh, we've got the main man Diami. As you saw with the intro, I had to put Diami in there. You know, he's been a sensational season. Absolute legend. You know, we've got Fisher. We've got Sterling. We've got Phillips. We've got Jarvis. We've got Redmond. We've got Ward-Prowse. So, midfield, I feel we've got plenty of players. Up front is where we're lacking. Um, and I think that's our next position we need to uh, seriously have a look at. You know, Andy Carroll is going back to uh, to Liverpool. Um, the season's pretty much done and dusted. He's going back to Liverpool. We're only going to have uh, Rob Hall when he returns from from his loan spell. And uh, Gabs, which really, really isn't enough. Obviously, we have got Carlton Cole. Sorry, I didn't mean to forget about Carlton Cole. That's my bad. Um, but I want to look to bring in two forward players, two attacking players, perhaps a striker and perhaps a CF. Um, Striker-wise... I need someone who's going to score goals. You know, the one thing that let us down this season, I forgot the Jet as well. You know, that's another midfielder we've got. So we definitely got plenty in midfield. Um, the one thing that let us down this season, which I think you all agree, will be our our finishing. You know, we had some great opportunities. Andy Carroll was, you know, he had he had ten games without scoring. You know, if he'd scored in those games, we would have been pushing for a top six place. You know, he would have been heading towards double figures, high double figures with his goals. Um, but he didn't. Uh, same with Carlton Cole, you know he didn't score enough goals. Uh, it was only really Gabs at the end who was um, netting his goals, and um, yeah, that's a worry. So up front for me is a worry. We need a striker. I would a CF style. I would love to bring in someone like Cantona. I don't know if there's any player out there who's that sort of mould. You know, in it, great vision, great passing, good finishing, good in the air, strong player. Up front, I would like someone to compliment Gabs. You know, the great thing with Gabs is we could drop him into a cam roll. We could drop him off the front. He can play up front. You know, he's very versatile. He's got a bit of pace. He's a fantastic finisher. Um, we just need someone else who can finish. We can't just put all our eggs in one basket and expect, you know, Gabs to fire us to a top six place. You know, we're not a one-man team. So we've definitely, definitely got to look at a couple of strikers or a CF striker. Something good in that mould. Um... 
player player wise I'm a little bit disappointed with Matt Phillips you know we spent a lot of money on bringing him to the club and um, I am really disappointed in his uh, contribution this season also got to say I'm a bit disappointed with Matt Jarvis his 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 contribution hasn't been you know that good over the course of the season you know he's been in in and out of the side both players so I feel not quite sure what to do with them to be honest um We've got to do something at the end of the day. Uh, it's, it's, you know, we've really got to push on. You know, our benchmark is tenth position, so we, we've got to improve. We've got to get better. We've got to finish higher. You know, we can't finish any lower. We now set ourselves a benchmark, so uh, we have to improve. At the end of the day, we have to improve. It's going to be tough. It's going to be tough. But uh, I'd be interested to know who you who you guys feel where we need to strengthen. Um, definitely be interested to hear that. You know what players do you do you feel you can uh, scout for me? You know a few of you have been scouting on the QT, sending me PMs and um, dropping them in. You know previous videos, some comments about certain players which I've taken on board, and I do have my list. I don't know if you can hear it, but it's that's my list. My little my little notepad is uh, full of player names. Um, so I am going to start looking at those players, um, see what I think of them. See if I feel they can add to the team. Seeing if we can negotiate, how much money, etc. Which I'm, I'm really interested in finding how much dosh we're going to get. Uh, but that will be in the, in the in the next video because this was just the end of the season. And as you can see, a couple of lads' contracts are coming up. So um, I've got to sort out some con contracts as you normally do at the end of the season. You know, there's a few lads who are who are young who I want to keep, um, and some of them I, I quite frankly don't because I feel we have enough in the squad as it is, and there's a few players I think we we need to look at and think to ourselves. You know we've got to utilise them in a uh, player swap. And as you can see, see, this is so bizarre. I offered him a contract, O'Brien, again, and um, I don't know. It looks like he just seems to neglect it. It's um, I don't know. It's it's confusing. Anyway, I've got some job offers for international jobs, um, but I wouldn't panic. I'm 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 not really fussed about an international job at this at this time. In uh, in a career, I'm really not bothered about an international job. This one did catch my eye. It's uh, Slovenia, and I thought, you know, hmm, no, obviously not. Um, <clears throat> New Zealand job is quite a nice offer, but again, no, I, I don't particularly want to. I don't want to do international because you know those three those three international sides are the other side of the bloody world. Logistically, it doesn't work for me at all. I don't want to be travelling back and forth. That means my commitment to the club is not going to be there. And I don't think that's fair to the fans, nor to the players and nor to the board at the end of the day who pay my wages. So I'm not going to do an international job. Um what was your highlight of the season? That would be a good one to uh, to see. What was your highlight of the season? What what made you laugh the most? Um, what filled you full of joy? You know, we had some we had some good games, some good results. Pull back some classics. Um, so yeah, it's going to be interesting. And finally, look, Joey O'Brien. Bloody hell, man! Took him long enough. I can't believe that. Seriously, can't believe that. Now, after he sent me that text message in episode twenty-one saying. And I'll change my mind. I wanna, I wanna stay, etc. Bloody, bloody, blah. It took him until uh, right at the end of the season to actually sign the the the, the contract, which is uh, frustrating to say the least. But what can you do? What can you do? The army. Oh, what a player! I'm so glad that I ended up putting him in the team. Thanks to you guys. You know he's an absolute tank. Um, I'm really chuffed we bought Suzuko. I think the potential with them two playing in a CDM is just phenomenal. And we have the added bonus of having Noble and Nolan as backup. You know, we, we have great midfield players. Um, really great midfield players. Gabs has been phenomenal. You know, Carlos Tevez version 2. He so is. He's been absolutely phenomenal. I'm so chuffed we found him. I'm so chuffed we bought him. I think he's he's returned every penny to be honest, and uh, he's only going to get better for me. He's he's a great finisher, real great finisher. And Jack Butland, um, what can I say about Jack Butland? Really, what can I say about Jack Butland? He's just absolutely phenomenal, and he is only going to get better. And that's quite scary to think that he's actually only going to get better. That really is um, 
that is scary. But at, at the same time, it's a positive. So yeah, so yeah, I, I'd really be interested in your your thoughts and comments about the best moment during the season, the worst moment during the season. There was a few of those, some uh, some dodgy penalties, cost us games, some the ball not bouncing our way. You know, I look back at the Capital One Cup, and that's that's I think that hurts the most. Uh, I think we we. We did do ourselves justice at the uh, the Etihad Stadium. You know, I take full responsibility for that because I don't think we uh, we done ourselves justice. But I think at Upton Park, you know, we went at them, and as I say, it just wasn't meant to be, which is a great shame. It would have been nice to pick up a trophy or have an opportunity to pick up a trophy. But you know, there's always next season. Um, I'm not downbeaten by it. You know, I'm uh, I'm looking forward to it. And uh, I've got a lot more hunger, a lot more hunger to succeed. And uh, yeah, so let me know what players uh, you guys are going to recommend because uh, you're my scouts, and uh, I appreciate all the time you guys take not only to watch my videos but to recommend players and help me with deals. And uh, I enjoy the interaction. Um, I hope you guys have had a, a really good season. I hope you've enjoyed every episode. I know the. My style might not suit everybody, but that's just a, that's just the way it is. Um, I hope you really have enjoyed it. It's been a great pleasure to hopefully entertain you. It's been a great pleasure to uh, to upload for you guys. To, you know, I, it, it's a weird experience uploading a video, and and within an hour you get anything between fifty to a hundred views. To me, that's that's un, unbelievable. You know, the amount of likes and comments is. Uh, you know, it really is, really is quite, quite awesome, and um, yeah, absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. So we're now in a new season. This is the new season. Look at the date: Sunday, June the thirtieth, twenty thirteen. And um, I'm going to leave you guys to ponder over transfers and uh, watch some of my highlights. I hope you enjoy it, guys, and I'll catch you later. The wait is over. It's West Ham United. Anyway, there has been some shouts for a player to make an appearance. I just want to thank the media team from West Ham United for providing this footage. This lad is actually quite good. He really is quite good. The only thing I will say about him, as you saw there, he tried to do too much. But, in saying that, you know, his defensive qualities are fantastic and he has got a lethal shot on him. It was unlucky not for this one not to go through. So I will be keeping a little bit of an eye on him. And uh, if he continues in this in this sort of uh, form, he definitely will be getting a start in the first team sometime soon. With great intention, gives it to Noble. Noble looks into Gabs. Everyone's saying, shoot, shoot Gabs, shoot. He shoots, it's safe. Diara, yes, he nicks it in the 89th minute to make it 1-1. We've just salvaged a point. Diara's just saved the blushes of Jackie Butland for his stupid, stupid error. And we're playing timeout until Cole picks the ball up, knocks it through to Gabs. Gabs ships it across. Diarmi shoots. 2-1. Is the comeback on? Is the comeback on? We have pulled a goal back. Winston Reid knocks it into Noble. Noble knocks it into Nolan. Nolan knocks it into Gabs. Gabs turns and he shoots. Two, two, 89th minute. I can't believe we've done it. We've done it. We've done it. Come on, West Ham. Two, two, 89th minute. That was fantastic football. That is the way the boys are playing. Supreme confidence. Unbelievable. What a finish by Gabs. What a finish by Gabs. Absolutely unbelievable. 2-2 two, two is the way it finished. He turns, he shoots, he scores. Oh my God, he's broke his duck. He's broke his duck. After 10 games, Andy Carroll has finally, finally scored for the mighty West Ham. West Ham do it. The ball comes over. My heart stops. Where is the ball going to end up? I blink. 
and it falls to the army. He shoots, he scores. Come on, West Ham, 90th minute. The army, the army, the army. He answers our prayers, our calls.